What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment and let's get right to it and start talking about the upgraded joysticks that you are going to see in the 2024 P-Series skid steers and compact track loaders. So starting out first thing is, is you are going to see a completely different layout on these joysticks. So we are going to take a quick look here at what the G-Series looked like and then also now what the P series looks like and you can see that there are considerable differences. Now, first thing that I would want to point out here is that you are going to have for one a rocker switch for hydraulics on either side of the joystick. So one on our right hand, one on our left hand, and that is something that is going to be new to the joysticks in 2024. You're also going to notice that they are just overall a different shape I will say that they are a lot more ergonomic they are more comfortable in the hand and you are going to have a different layout completely of the buttons on both sides now one thing that is super nice about the new layout on these joysticks is that you are going to have a lot more labeling on the joystick itself now you're always going to have beside and behind the joystick you are going to have those information stickers that are going to tell you exactly what each one of those joysticks does but it's nice also to have that labeling actually on the joystick so you're looking right at it whenever you are going to push that certain button so if we're looking over here on the right hand joystick what we're going to see is we are going to see our auxiliaries over here on the right and our auxiliaries down here at the bottom and one button here in the middle now these are all going to be for electric auxiliaries so what i mean is if we have a piece of equipment on the front of the machine that has an electrical component so some sort of electric either cylinder that is going to swivel that machine or some type of electric switch that is going to turn something on and off maybe push it forward and backward whatever those things are these over here are going to be for those electric auxiliaries now you're also going to have a center button here that is also going to have to do with the electronic components of the machine. Now our rocker switch here, this is going to be for hydraulics. So for instance, right now, we can actually, if we unlock our, our hydraulics here, I can actually hit this switch and you will hear a change in the engine. So it is trying to send hydraulic fluid through this auxiliary switch but we do not have anything attached to the front of the machine then of course on the back side here you are going to have a trigger now at the moment nothing is set up for this trigger but this trigger is usually going to be used to turn on and off ride control or your self leveling so if you have ride control and self leveling set up on your machine once you turn on your either ride control right here or your self leveling here you can toggle back and forth using the backside trigger here on your right hand joystick now once we move over to the left hand joystick what you're going to see over here is for one it is very obvious we have our horn button up here we are going to have two of our auxiliary hydraulic buttons over here most of the time what we are going to have is this is going to be our set button so this is going to be if we have an attachment that has a certain set point for those hydraulics that is usually what this one is going to be for and then once again our middle button here is going to be kind of a wild card kind of set up however that attachment comes and then what we're going to have right down here these are going to be our creeper mode buttons which is very nice so if you are in a machine that has the creep mode set up on it meaning that you want to be able to set this machine to where it will only go so fast whenever you have that joystick pushed all the way forward right here is where you're going to be able to turn that on and adjust it so if we hit that plus button what you're going to see is a snail and a percentage come on in our right hand display so right up here we've got our snail we've got our 18 percent we can turn that up once we get up over 20 it's going to go by the tens all the way to 100 percent and once we get back down below 20 then it is going to go by one 
where you can get that all the way dialed down to 1%. So this is gonna be for those certain operators or certain jobs that if we need to be set at a certain speed and make sure that they are not going over that speed, we can set this creep mode up or if we're using a certain attachment on the front that we want to only go a certain speed, but we don't wanna to have to be trying to gauge that by pushing forward and backward on our lever, we can set that creep mode up and have that ready to go. Now you're also going to have another auxiliary switch over here. This is gonna be another rocker switch like we had on the right hand side. And this is going to be your auxiliary three. Right now, like I said, that is not active. That is going to depend on what attachment you have set up, what type of flow you have, what type of hoses you've got going on. But that is going to be something that you have on your left hand joystick that you did not have before along with our trigger on the back side here now this is what's going to switch us back and forth between our two-speed transmission machines so right now we are in slow if I go ahead and pull that trigger we are actually in creep so if I pull that trigger again now you'll see the rabbit come up on the screen there if I pull it again that rabbit goes away so this is our two-speed transmission and the trigger right here on the left hand side is where we are going to go to be able to switch between those two now when you need information on what each one of these does if for some reason you have skipped past all of this and you still need to know what each one of these buttons does you are always going to be reminded because you are going to have labeling behind your joystick that tells you exactly what it does and then also over to the side you are going to have labeling that tells you what the movements of each one of these joysticks does so just make sure that you know right there that back behind and to the side of your joystick these are always going to tell you what these joysticks do so also another big upgrade in these machines now not every machine is going to have this but this is an option is that you are now going to have the option to add adjustable joysticks so what I mean is you can adjust those joysticks forward and backward to fit the operator that is going to be operating the machine now this machine here does not have it but I've been in one that has it so here is what that's gonna look like you are gonna have a switch there at the front of that joystick and just be able to pull that up push that forward or backward and be able to set that in place where you want it on your machine now another nice thing about these joysticks and this nice thing about about these p-series machines is that you are going to have a new feature in this machine if you have the 8 inch display of attachment manager so if we go into attachment manager and we have a certain attachment like the John Deere broom here we could actually go in to this broom go in and we can name it we can change the different things about it but we can also go in and look at our joystick layout so we can go right in here on any John Deere attachment that is loaded into the system and it will tell us exactly what each one of our buttons does on the left hand side or on the right hand side. So if you're ever confused, if you've got a John Deere attachment that you're putting on the front of this machine you have it hooked up and you need to know what each one of these buttons does, instead of spending 5-10 minutes in here figuring out and getting, co getting comfortable, you can pull this up look right up here in your right hand display look at your joystick layout and know exactly what each one of those buttons does so some really nifty technology that could save you a lot of time in these machines if you just know where to go to find it so some really really nice upgrades to these machines as of 2024 guys i highly suggest that if you are in the market for one of these machines to go to your local dealership check them out see what you think because the upgrades that john deere has made to these skid steers and compact track loaders are awesome so i hope that you guys like this video if this video helped you out we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel also guys if you are wanting to see more videos over john deere equipment or more videos like this make sure to go and check out the rest of our channel and as always guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time hey guys make sure to check out this cool video and this one Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.